Not for a cheeseburger. Maybe a vegan burger. <laughs> but you know, you have like I have friends who who have literally verbalized to me like, well, you know, I didn't want. To. He was expecting it, and he brought me on the stage. So, and I'm like, that's not and you said you the reason sure. why. You know, it makes me cringe. It really does make me upset when women feel this way. And. Um, if it's not where you, you, you could be, I, I, I told the girls before, like, I've stopped someone bitch stroke. I'm like, you know what, this wow. ain't, you know, like, it was for the first two seconds, not the last two, I, I'm not with it. Like, you gotta, you gotta stop now. <laughs> wow. But, um, a lot of women cool don't thing. have, the right, they don't have that, that, um, they don't take back that power for mm-hmm. themselves to do that. And mm-hmm. I think waiting and knowing what mm-hmm. you want and only having it so that you get what you want makes mm-hmm. it so that you can only have what mm-hmm. you want. And well, I think part good. of that is that we, we live in a phallocentric society, right? So the phallus always takes precedence. So, you know, we've been convinced, I don't know, from like day one, as far as I know, <laughs> I don't know when this convincing happened, but we have been convinced that like, if the guy is in the middle of, you know, uh, coming, that is sacred, that's his sacred, not ours, we're just being used, you know, but we are all like taught that you do not stop that, you know, if anything, like you assist him, you know, he gets his semen out and then, you know, you're done and you're off the book. Isn't that the shit? That's so crazy to me because like, you know, I've been doing a lot of research and men are most powerful when they injecting. As uh, exactly, to exactly. But they don't know it. Oh my god, I like, just she, sent this text like every like, you know, hour. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, it's crazy. I think, if anything, like following up with that, we don't see enough examples of that. I right. feel like we grow up already seeing right. our mothers, grandmothers, etc., whoever you know, family ancestors, like kind of you know, submissive to the men in all aspects. All aspects, and, yeah. you know, there needs to be a healthy rally tonight. I, I totally agree. I love, you know, mm-hmm. hearing your getting those reminders from my sister that, hey, it's ceremony, apply it, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, yeah. And if you don't yeah. feel it's good, just tell him, sorry, I want to do that. It's not my thing. Oh my god, that's so it sounds so simple and easy, and we all know it's so hard and it's practice it's in the middle of the yeah. thing. Definitely. It's so much easier to like kind of like, you know, discard your own body temporarily or like go out of body, which is how most of our mothers like went through sex. It's just kind of like leave like your body. From yeah, your disassociate. Like, yeah, yeah. And, you know, which like reinforces the dichotomy between body and self, between body and mind, you know, like the church and all that, all that stuff. I think societally as well, though, sex isn't everything. Sex sells, sex is here, mm-hmm. sex is there, sex mm-hmm. is everywhere. Sex could be a Dr. Seuss's storybook, you know, mm-hmm. a book about sex because it's it's literally what's just thrown at us. So and and the the images of sex, like the girls just like the women who sing, the goddesses were saying, it's it's not that they're healthy images. Mm-hmm. It's not images that teach us, okay, sex is it means sacred energy exchange. Mm-hmm. It's not images that teach us there's power in sex, there's power in a union. You know, it's things that tell us do this because it feels good or it looks good or this and that and the third. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think if when there is when there are more powerful images mm-hmm. of that, then you feel empowered. Uh, then you feel more empowered from mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of that, yeah, I mean, the, yes, there is a lot of sex out there and it's all being used to sell shit to people. Yeah. And I think that it's, it has two aims. One is, you know, tell the guy you're going to get the girl. Uh, the, what happens to the girl is an afterthought. Like, now I'm talking about that. And tell the girl the guy is going to want you. So, you know, that's how they sell shit. You know, the girl wants the guy to pick her and, you know, the guy is going to be like accepted by all the girls. But the sex, that's not the sex, you know. What happens once this like whatever, you know, metaphoric people, (laughs) men and women get together, no one cares about. It's like unspoken, you know, turn off the lights, show them under the sheets and let them like survive. (laughs) Right? It's all like the pre-sex that they're selling. It's like... You know, uh, instead of like the actual sexual experience, you know, which we don't get to discuss or or understand, and like you know what you were saying, what I said, I sent this text earlier. This is what I said. I said it's my observation that multiple orgasming is totally absent among American males. 
right? So like very few men use the extended orgasmic breath or what you know in America is known as tantra, but that's like an oversimplification of tantra. Um, but basically like consciously control their soma, control the you know their their rhythm in order to have a better orgasm for themselves as well as to like be more in touch with the woman time wise, you know, with her stretch, you know, longer time. Um, and I think it's again because men are like stuck in always being the doer, you know, being the one in charge, you know, and the ultimate goal is like getting off. Which is so sad and limited. Like anybody can get off. Like you know, you can get off in a second alone if you know whatever. If you really want it bad enough, <laughs> right? right? So instead of like talking about making it more interesting, you know, lasting longer, taking breaks, um, you know, being able to talk to each other, like you were saying, Ayana, in the middle of the sexual experience, like saying, okay, this is not working, or, you know, like, take a break, uh, could you go wash your hands, or whatever, and that doesn't mean, <laughs> <laughs> and that like, doesn't, you'd be surprised, <laughs> you'd be surprised, like, we don't dare say shit, because like, we have to, like, you'd be surprised everybody's Guys, hands are great. They start fingering. Yes, yeah. yes, especially when they're not like that. No, a lot of girls get bacterial infections. Oh yeah, because of that, they don't even realize where it's coming from. Oh no, they they, they realize it's just like <laughs> they, they don't even use the bathroom after like a month. Right, right. And oh my God. God, yes. And it's all because we think that we're supposed to be like so transported by you know passion, right? But we're not. We're just pretending it. Because that's what we've been taught. Like, you know that if he's put his, your ha his hands up your asshole, he should not be going back, you know, in your vagina. You just know it. It's very, right? And so if he forgets to, like, take a break again, because we're all supposed to be, like, so much in trance that we're no longer ourselves, we're, like, possessed by whatever, you know, the erotic uh, instinct, that's all bullshit. It's just that we, we don't have the comfort to be ourselves and be sexual together, right? And how how much better would that be? So you can say, uh, you know, I don't want you like move, you know, move to the left a little bit, go up, like stop, you know. I don't like this position, but that that's not a rejection, you know. It's not personal. It's like we're all together. We're both together doing this, so so right? We get so self-conscious because we're told that like. Getting off, to and especially way. getting the guy off, I is the ultimate. I feel like people think that they're mature enough because they're having the sex, but you know they're they're not mature enough to handle the vulnerability that comes with it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, being able to speak up, being able to say this is what I like, this is what I don't like. Like they feel just because they're having sex that they know what they're doing. And, you know, I got this. I've been doing this for X amount of years. <laughs> <laughs> doing it for a long time doesn't mean you've been doing it right. Doesn't mean you know what you're doing in the first place. You know. If you, if you only have one mission or your intention is one thing, you really don't know what you're doing. Because you're not even trying to have a, an open mind to learn and to experience anything other than outside of yourself. And that's not sexual maturity at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus I think like doing the same thing over and over and having the same one kind of orgasm over and over is not sexual maturity. Like we women can have anywhere from seven orgasms to like, I don't know, I mean, yeah, who's in charge again of counting? Right. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, it's endless, right? Definitely. I think a big problem is that um, it's a lot, a lot of things are based on just instant gratification. Mm. So, you know, just yes. instantly just Thank you. having something there, you know, as opposed to really taking the time mm. to have a build up and to, you know, grow and really just build up, you mm -hmm. know, it's like, no, right now, mm -hmm. you know, and that women, we as women, we don't work that way mm -hmm. either. We know? don't, no. Like, um, I think that also goes back to sex being very group-based, as mm -hmm. opposed to utilizing it as a way to rise upon and bring up the energy to your crown, um. you know, because that's when you really get those endless orgasms, mm -hmm. or you when you really feel that energy, that transfer, um, so just taking it beyond the root. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's what unites you with your divine essence. Right. Yeah. Like, right, with the cosmic energy. With that's the cosmic. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's actually, it's like, it, you know, when you say se sex is a great energy change, that's exactly what it means. Yeah. You know, you, you meet God, it doesn't matter what we call God, right? right? Yeah. And you create from it. You create life and you also like overcome whatever your mortal, you right. know. Right, it's healing. It's oh, so yeah. healing. Yeah. <laughs> it's therapeutic. It is. Yeah. Like, even just um, just looking at tantra or tantric sex, mm -hmm. when there's certain parts of our body that um, when just we have that penetration, our liver or our internal mm -hmm. organs, you know, reflexology in that way are stimulated as well. Mm -hmm. So it's healing even in that sense. Oh yeah, and all, you know, the body is the seat of a lot of trauma, psychic trauma. Right. So that's like a wonderful way to heal trauma and heal it for free. Exactly, especially with the wound, generational trauma. We right. We trauma from our mothers and our mothers. Oh, so much you know, Yeah. We had a lot of trauma. Yeah, we had a lot of trauma. Our story is crazy. Yeah, you know? yeah. And like, you know, like to me, you know, paying people to have you like sit there and talk about it is not the best healing. It's the same because, you know, usually it's again some, you know, male doctor who wrote these rules and then, you know, everybody went to school and memorized it and they're trying their best. But at the level of the soma, right, at the level of our body, when we're in charge, we are getting to that alchemical sex where you achieve transformation that's right. so much more magical and, and true right. and and quick if you're into instant gratification <laughs> it's faster ultimately mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> but then yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean I think this goes back to the idea that we have about what sex is you know like mm -hmm. hair being where we look like you said we don't even talk about sex you know we talk about the the initiation of maybe you know it's the idea of and then the actual practice is just like we don't know what we're doing we only, we only saw up to getting inside the bedroom we don't know, we don't know what happens inside this shit like yeah. you know like no one no one knows and um and then you're looking at mainstream media of pornography and it's only a male-centric lens and then you're wondering why guys are beating vaginas to a pulp and not knowing right. what the fuck is up, you know? Like, don't know right. what a stroke look like. It's like, they just, all they're doing no, 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 is no, no, paying no. attention to mm -hmm. what it looks like sex should right. be instead mm -hmm. of actually finding out what, what sex is. actually is. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And all of that, you know, Man, if somebody was open to shoot that, I would so shoot it just to express it to the I was just going to say, I was just going to say, Jade, you should do porn next. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. <laughs> 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 no, because I want to. Oh. Only because one, I remember when I would work um, in the big production or um, like film production and TV production. They always say like, if you ever work that uh, world, you don't use your name because then you'll get blacklisted when you try to get like actual gigs oh. as a production person. Okay, yeah, like, are you kidding me? <laughs> that's art. Okay, yeah. you're telling me that I can't do that. And at the same time, the porn that's out there is so boring, mm. so disgusting, mm. and honestly, like, Thank you. Ugh, like, what do we, what do we have to look at for yeah. girls? I don't you know? know, but like, like why do I have to down, was like, I listen to the sounds. Like, okay. that is not good yeah. enough for me. Okay, I like to actually watch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I wanted to do porn for women to watch. But, yeah, that'd be know, amazing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. But um, listening to this, like, it needs to be done in a certain way now. So it's like, mm -hmm. you're not just doing it for the pleasure sense or to be submissive in this. Like, do it with a purpose. Mm -hmm. So if we could shoot that some kind of way, anybody, hello. <laughs> 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 like, you have to be knowledgeable. I don't want to just, you know. Okay, I'll write the script. <laughs> it has to be like a set, but still, like, where the woman actually can, mm -hmm. you know, be pleasured from watching that. Of course, the men too, but you guys, you know, you need to learn the truth. But primarily, oh, I know. we need to educate the men because, you know, they learn from that porn shit, yes. which is all fake. Yep, it's right. all actors 
they're not getting off. You know, they have like flash girls in the background keeping those yeah. guys hard because what they're doing does not turn them on at all, naturally, right? And you know, yeah. whatever it is, you know, the money shot or that is, you know how fast they have to go, none of it is realistic. But people watch it thinking that's how it's supposed to do, and then, like you say, when finally they've got the, you know, the, the trick or whatever, the guy, and they go to the bedroom, that's what they try to emulate, which honestly and does work. And like, blow up dolls in bed, like, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 like, no, I know, and most women, because we want to be wanted, I mean, that's human, who doesn't want to be wanted, right, right, yeah, 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 we, Right, we allow ourselves because we're like, you know what, he doesn't know better. Like, I know he loves me deep down. Mm -hmm. oh, but God. then we don't even know. Because then mm -hmm. also, as women, we're thinking that that's what it is. Or so, like, we're just here, like, well, okay. I guess that's what I it is. I guess I'm not that sexual. Yeah, and then you find she out doesn't know anything about world. you. Yeah. yeah. Plus, like, like, oh my boy. I'm going to try all that new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this our partner loves us, so we should be doing this. Like many times, we didn't realize that we're not loving ourselves when we do this. You know, like we're not. We can't. It's it's mutually exclusive. We can't possibly accept any type of of penetration when it comes to us and have that be detrimental in us being like, well, this was totally euphoric and I love myself. Like you don't even feel good after it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything mm -hmm. about it is negative for you and in and, and any way that you could possibly progress and it's knowing which is why I which is why I know that it's, it's complete self-love and um, self-acceptance and just like honoring oneself when you do wait like offset it you know and you do yeah. like take breaks like like I did for like mm -hmm. 14 months of like not non penetrative sex because it's not it's not about sex it's about having the best exchange you can with the person that's going to bring you the most flourishment in your life and out of it like yeah you know yeah no that is definitely recommended I mean I personally highly recommend it especially if you're a highly sexual person like I am it's so good when you take a, a break, a conscious break, that you will, you know, on yourself, so that you can revisit what you've done, where you've been, what you know, what you like. And that doesn't mean, you know, having, not being sexual with penetrative sex does not mean that you're not masturbating, that you're not playing with yourself, that you don't have other, you know, scenes, or you don't go out, you know, uh, to a sex party or whatever, or um, you, you can, you know, definitely, like, talk about the, you can sex, <laughs> you can do all kinds of other stuff. So you don't like have to become, uh, you know, completely asexual and shut down. Actually shutting down is not at all what is recommended. It's just kind of like open up to understanding where you come from, how you did things. Is this what you meant to be doing, right? And when you would do what you were saying about ages, you know, our prefrontal lobe doesn't even finish growing until we're about 26. So starting at 25, 26, you know, I know it's not like ma mod and <laughs> like cool, but actually it's wise, you know, it's a, it's a wise act because you're fully grown. So you have better understanding of where you're at and what you're doing. And, you know, again, as we evolve as, as, as women, we want more things and different things than what we did when we were like 19. Um, so taking a moment to figure all that out and then make a conscious choice to say, okay, you know, from now on, like I will fall in love, but I'm not going to lose myself in the love, you know, from now on when I'm in love, but I'm in the middle of like not feeling it in bed, I'll speak up without being completely terrified that like you will leave me and never come back. You know, like all these fears that we have that like we will be alone, we will die alone, no one's gonna love us because we're gonna say like, you know, I don't wanna have sex first thing in the morning like you do because I'm like my body's not awake. You know, like simple things that if you do it and you speak up for yourself, you find out that actually, you know, nothing major has changed. You know, everybody wants communication, everybody wants to learn, and everybody appreciates this extra effort. So yeah, taking a break and then starting over. And also another thing, like if you've been involved I with the NPD. It helps you focus more if you do it that mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Like, I, I was so mad one day when it was like that, you know, like started whatever, I got it to then stop and then go about your day and I'm like, the fuck, are you serious? 
But then I realized, I'm sorry, I'm like, yeah. But um, then I went about my day, I was like, wow, I'm actually more in tune to everything than if we were at finish. And then mm -hmm. I would just been in La La Land or tired mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. whatever. And then oh, at the yeah. end of the night, it was like, oh, finally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, delaying yeah. it is, is yeah. good and channeling that energy is good. Yeah, cool. yeah. But also another thing I was I was about to say, I don't know if any of you, I mean, you're all goddesses, so you probably haven't really experienced it, but a lot of women, you know, fall for the narcissist and whether it's the narcissistic traits or the full-blown NPD, it doesn't matter, you know, narcissist personality disorder, doesn't matter, right? So if you go through that experience and then you break up and you manage to find the freedom, like do not just jump into another relationship because it's just so likely that you repeat the behavior because it takes us time to shift, you know, even tiny shifts takes time to understand it, right? So in between relationships, especially long-term relationships, it's good to like take time and play with yourself, right? Buy a couple of toys, buy the dildos, you know, like try new things that you haven't tried before, right? You yes. agree with me? Yeah. Yes, of course, yes. <laughs> I think that's one of the best parts is to explore, you know, what your body can do. <laughs> And I think that's another form of self-love, like mm. not necessarily relying on any other party to execute certain feelings mm -hmm. or, you know, uh, climaxes and frequencies that you want to reach. Mm -hmm. I think that is a very powerful thing. I, I, yes, I prefer that. Um, <laughs> Masturbation nation. Masturbation <laughs> nation. <laughs> 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 I think adding to that as well, like when you get out of a bad relationship or a traumatic relationship, really detoxing or like taking the time to, to show self love to your womb and to your your body and just getting that energy out of you before you do move on or decide to go with someone else. Just completely allowing yourself to be just you as opposed to taking on the negative energy that you put out. I think that's really important as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we should design a chest with people. <laughs> like a modest one. I, mean, I, actually, I love I'm it. looking to do a sexuality um, collection where it just brings the higher vibration to sex. You know, just having different power tools that you can utilize um, mm -hmm. and feel sexy with and still feel powerful. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like how God series coming up. Yoni, Yoni jewelry. Yeah, like Yoni eggs and um, fertility mm -hmm. spouts and mm -hmm. things, but yeah, mm -hmm. you know. And junkie <laughs> things. <laughs> I just picture like a chime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's about so, to be on some Oh my god, yeah. yeah. So you know, Oh yeah, because you feel it there. It's like yeah. makes you unlock it, which you know you can. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you remember and you feel it there. Like even if no one says it, you know, and then when you're ready, you can add the chime. So you're like, walk and like, everything is there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just realize of ideas and visions into fruition. And I'm happy to witness it and also be a part of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we literally said this when we all came together that if we do this, it's going to literally just change our lives mm -hmm. in every way, whether it's together or in our own life. So it's definitely flourishing. A lot faster than I thought, but it's <laughs> <laughs> still going to say. The abundance is here. Yes. Um, yeah. 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 Great. All right, well, I think you should all make a horror film or series of horror <laughs> You know, sex pose, women empowering, erotica. You have the, the, the designer oh, of all the lingerie and toys and jewelry and toys. And then you have a model or two, or, a, or you can all model and act. No, right? like, exactly. she, she can, can sing live. Exactly. Yeah. She can be singing she live, like, she can sing she live, is, like oh, watching what happens amazing. and making up the lyrics on the spot. How amazing would that be? Sing about sex. That would be heavenly, though. Like, no. that would be And then I can go into the um, that erotica sex museum in Miami, Miami mm -hmm. Beach, our but own collection. If we didn't mm -hmm. have ones, it wouldn't be able to be caught porn. No, they would agree. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But but it, that's yeah, the, that whole genre has to be like redone. From <laughs> that's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Here to take over with my actual name as that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay, well, I volunteer myself as like a script uh, supervisor or provider. <laughs> okay. I'll do some scenarios. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great, actually. Yeah. We have to learn. And that's the best part about doing these series that we get to learn so much at the same time and then it's together. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. More heads are better than my next. <laughs> 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 I think that's a great closure. So, <laughs> have I left anything uncovered? Does anyone want to say anything more? No, sweet. Okay, well, thank you, thank you, thank you, every single one of you. We got this collective all together for joining me today. I had a great conversation. Yeah, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And for allowing us to be in your home, this is so uh, yeah. Perfect. Gosh. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. This is so inspiring. Mm -hmm. I wish I got the chance to meet you. Yeah. Same here. Next, we'll do it again when yes. we're all together. When we'll be back. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for listening, everyone. Thank you for trusting me as your sex whisperer. Um, and uh, until I like, talk to you again next week, big sex. Yeah. Ooh, woohoo! Yeah, so, that was, uh, awesome. that was yeah. so good. So much to learn. I know, right? Yeah. I meant it though. You are ready, I'll give you the script. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know that. that. I feel like there's so much to I'm looking at all your books, I'm like, oh my god. I just like want to leave with a book. <laughs> um, so.